Well, if you, I think just one reminder is that the goal of the outbound function is to create incremental revenue for the company. So, and this is something that Mark Benioff was, you know, hammered into me because um, he saw when he worked at Oracle, he saw a lot of inside salespeople who were supposed to be doing prospecting, just kind of like grabbing random leads and claiming credit for it. And I think it's common, whether it's intentional or not, for a lot of companies to have some kind of outbound function. But it's when they really, if they really look under the hood and truly audit how much of this is actual incremental revenue, it's a lot less than they think. And the quality is a lot less than they think. So the whole point of the team is to get new revenue, extra revenue. So let's just start there. So what that means is the sales, the uh, prospectors need to be, have some kind of goal for the number um, of qualified opportunities generated per month, right? Not meeting. I mean, there's activity metrics. Okay. Calls and emails and meetings scheduled. All that stuff really doesn't matter. That's like your heartbeat. What you care about is how many qualified opportunities and you might call them sales accepted leads or sales qualified leads, but how many opportunities are, are salespeople accepting into their pipeline? And those opportunities have been audited to make sure they're real because there's a lot of sub subjectivity in outbound and it's common for salespeople to say, wow, you know, my, my, my guy, my, my woman, whoever it is, they're working really hard. Uh, I'm just going to like, I'll just give them, I'll do them a favor. I'll give them credit on this one. It's not really qualified, but it kind of calls. There's a lot of that. And what that does is it creates a, it's like a rust inside the system where you don't really have true metrics to reflect what's really happening, which means it's, it's like if you're, if you're driving a car and you can't trust your dashboard or you can't trust your maps, what are you going to do? So I think you do need to have um, it, at least a you know, number of, again, accepted opportunities or sales accepted leads per month or sometimes per quarter, depending on sales cycle, if it's like, like federal. Um, and then too, the amount of revenue that people are supposed to generate from what's being sourced by those prospectors. Another thing that's commonly missed is that, you know, these prospectors have a lot of influence over generating revenue, right? The false assumption is that, okay, well, they're just getting meetings and if it closes or not, it's up to the salesperson. That's not true. The, sale, the prospectors have all the influence over which targets am I going after? How hard do I work at getting into those targets? Do I get to the right people at those targets? And do I sort of qualify, disqualify appropriately? You know, there's so much influence that they have in finding those opportunities and getting them into the pipeline that you're missing a huge opportunity if you're not tying either a lot, half or all their compensation to revenue. I'll give you a point. Salesforce.com actually moved so their outbound prospectors only get paid on revenue that they source. They don't get paid on qualified opportunities like we used to do. And what happened when they, when they made that switch, they saw right away the behavior of prospectors changed. It changed from, okay, well, here are these companies I think I get meetings at too. Okay, well, I'm not, they're not going to close, so I'm going to target different accounts. And if I really believe this account's going to be a deal, I'm going to, going to be much more creative to get into it. So heavier on the revenue and with some kind of audit process to ensure that as the deals are coming in, they're actually outbound and that the qualification steps, you know, whatever your system is and handoffs are, that those are being followed very diligently. Because again, there's too much, there's a lot of subjectivity in outbound. There's a lot of room for getting inaccurate dashboards and metrics 